Well, Russia wants a stronger military, and France is willing to help. France has agreed to sell assault ships to Russia despite concerns from the U.S. and former Soviet republics. Here to talk to us about this major move is investigative journalist and RT contributor Wayne Madsen. Wayne, thanks so much for joining me. So, first of all, uh, Secretary of Defense uh, Robert Gates has obviously spoken out against this sale, and you know uh, he said that. Uh, you know, obviously, relations between the United States and Russia have been getting better, many people have said in uh, recent years. And Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has really emphasized that she wants to push this reset button between Russia and the United States. So why, then, are they so worried about this sale? Well, this reset button has caveats. And certainly, Gates, uh, we just had the issuance of the Quadrennial Defense Review, where if you read the geopolitical strategy of the United States. It's to dominate the sea, sea lanes of the world, the oceans of the world. So obviously Russia getting these uh, helicopter assault ships from France, the Mistral, which is very, uh, very uh, com uh, comparable to the USS Bataan, which is now parked in <clears throat> Port-au-Prince, rendering assistance supposedly to the Haitian population. Um, this is viewed upon as obviously some sort of a threat by the uh, Russian Navy. And uh, Sarkozy, of course, he's a neoconservative, but uh, he's got a job problem in France. He has high unemployment. So obviously, the, the interests of the French defense industry trump all politics for Mr. Sarkozy. And I think that plays also a big part in his decision to sell these uh, ships to, uh, to Russia. And, you know, the French defense minister said, quote, we can't have a double disclosure of saying they are partners and then talking about relations with Russia as if it were pre-1991. And, you know, Senator McCain and six other prominent U.S. senators signed a letter strongly opposing this sale. I mean, do you think these U.S. officials are still thinking with this kind of Cold War mentality here? Some do. And, and, and in McCain's, uh, his position, of course, he's being challenged uh, from the right in the Republican primary in Arizona. So he's having now to sound more kooky right wing than even Sarah Palin as a Republican. So he's, he's going there. But also McCain was very supportive of Saakashvili and Georgia. And I note that the Georgians are very much set against this uh, sale of these friendships to the Russian Navy. We've also got the uh, win uh, of uh, Yanukovych in Ukraine. So uh, there's going to be pressure off the Russian Navy to pull out of the Sevastopol naval base in Crimea, which is potentially a home port for some of these ships, as well as St. Petersburg. And we have a lot of opposition now from Estonia and Lithuania, as well as some of the other Eastern European member states of NATO. And, you know, at the same time that all this is happening, the U.S. is boosting their own presence in Europe. You know, just recently we read about Washington building up an anti-missile defense system in Romania. And now, you know, Russia wants to buy some warships. What's the big deal? Is, is Washington being a little hypocritical here? Well, I think, uh, I think uh, it was interesting to read the Washington Post story on this. Of course, the Washington Post is, is very much in with the neoconservative move in Eastern Europe. Ann Applebaum on her editorial board, uh, her, she's married to the foreign minister or Poland. So we see a lot of this neoconservative politics still playing uh, a big role with how the Obama administration even is responding to some of these moves in this ca last case by the French. Well, Wayne, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Interesting how Washington is still in some ways thinking in that Cold War mentality.